we finally started our dream studio build. Yeah, in last week's video, you saw us take out the rest of the flooring that needed to be taken out, hammered <laughs> out, and then cutting all the wood for the walls into the right sizes. I'm so relieved I enjoy doing this. Yeah, so we have a whole building package now that we can start installing, and that's what we're gonna do this week. Yeah, today is all about this bad boy. Terrifying. <laughs> When cutting up all the wood, we already organized it by facade side. Yeah. And Werner has really detailed drawings of how everything goes, so it should go well. There's one big hurdle. We're using a nail gun for the first time. Is it the first time you use it? Yeah. Okay, we're both using a nail gun. Oh my god, that's so scary! I thought it was only me! No, never had one in my hands before. <laughs> oh, they love me. A couple of days ago, I learned to use a micro saw. I think a micro saw that for the first time. And I was really scared going into it. Scary! But it actually turned out to be perfectly fine. It's a tool I now feel pretty confident with. Ooh! Getting good at eyeballing it. Very close. Ali is so, addicted to using it. <laughs> so I hope it's the same with the nail gun. Although I'm much more scared of the nail gun because there's way more opportunities for hurting each other. Especially with a clumsy like me. Werner is a bit clumsy. He's also a bit all over the place. So we're gonna have to be really careful to not shoot nails randomly. <laughs> oh! Holy sh! That is so scary, right? Eh? <laughs> I'm really. Have you never. No, you've never used it. No. You have no idea how it goes. Yeah, I haven't. Like, I know how to use it, but I haven't used it. Okay. Okay. Well, here's to learning new things. That's what we wanted to do when coming here to the countryside to build a homestead. So I guess there's nothing else to it but trying. We're starting by the simplest wall. The easiest there is. Yeah. The easiest there is. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. I will put something in your ear. Yes, yes, yes. You want a nail? I want a what? Do you want to nail? Do you want to put the nails in? I think that thing is very heavy, no? No, try it. Can I hold it for a second to see how heavy it is? Oh, I'm so scared. As long as you, as this thing is not down, it's all fine. What's and not down? I can also protect, like you lock it like this, it's locked. Let's see. Careful. Oh, that's way too heavy. Oh, no, actually, I think I could do it, but I'm not. I think you should do it because uh, then I can like hold it straight and like put proper like pressure against. No, baby. No, okay, not all. I'm scared of shooting you. Okay, wait. That is such a scary machine. Oh my goodness. Please put your hand further away. Please be careful with your hand. I think it scares me, this machine. It scares me that Warner has to manage it, but I don't want to do it and be responsible for hurting him, so... <sighs> Breathe in. In a couple of days' time, it will be like with a saw, so it won't be scary at all and it will be fine. That's the thing. Just have to get used to it. Why are they so separate suddenly? This one is not a pet. Ah, okay, I thought you had put one nail in it. <laughs> what the hell happened? Warner is gonna really struggle with things not aligning to the millimeter. It's gonna be an issue. Warner is reconsidering the design now. <laughs> we haven't even properly started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when I don't know what's best. I, I trust you. We're having way more issues than we anticipated. I told you there's a cup. Uh, just amateur amateur problems. We're done with the first frame? Yay! That was, that was but, much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> or not harder, it just took us way longer. Issues, little, little issues. Okay. Where do you want to put it? Outside. Now let's think about it. What do we need to do before we can start building the studio on site? We need to get rid of the old studio? 
Yeah. We need to level the last bit of the floor. Yeah. Do we need to do something with the chemical anchoring? How does that work? So the moment we have taken the studio out, mm -hmm. we need to line it out properly and then like, yeah, position the beams where they are supposed to be, measure it out and then drill holes where they are connected to the beams. Okay, so do you think we can build the four walls and connect them to the, to the concrete base in one day? One very long day. It doesn't need to be one day, it can be two days as long as it doesn't rain during the night. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but the rain we cannot really guarantee that. That's why we don't want to like unmantle the We can studio. because tomorrow it rains a tiny, or tonight it rains a tiny bit, but it stops in the morning. Yeah. Although you never know, like because it says cloudy, so it could be super foggy and wet. But then still we can keep going. Uh... Yeah, this is something we didn't really think through. Well, we thought it through, but we were not, we didn't have all the knowledge necessary. Our original plan was to build the walls in here with the current studio structure still in place, take the walls out as we are building them. Yeah, to stack them all on top outside yeah. and then bring them back in when we're building yeah. the walls. But as soon as we finish this first section, we realized it's way too heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh. We didn't think this through. Yeah, we did. We didn't think at all. We could do it, but we're gonna make a huge effort for nothing. For nothing. Break our bags, bring it all out to then bring it in. We were trying to do that because this studio structure of course protects us from the elements. It's more comfortable to work in here like this. But it makes no sense to proceed no, right now. We need to take it down. So we're gonna have to take it down instead first and then build the walls and put them up as we're building them. If the old structure wasn't here, I see us being able to put up the walls as we construct them. Mm -hmm. But seeing how heavy this is, and this is the smallest wall, I don't see us carrying everything out and then carrying it all in and then pushing it up. But how do you continue working on the floor? Like we need this floor. So as soon as you construct it, you put it up in the place already. And the reason we have to build the walls in here and not on the outside is because this floor is flat. Everything else is hilly grass. <laughs> so it's not like we can build it on the outside and then push them up. That would be ideal. Yeah. In any other site, that would be great. Yeah, but I think like if we push them up... From, a, from the inside, yeah. It's all fine as well. Yeah, but that's why we can only build them here. Yeah. And we have to push them out like up from the inside. Oh my god, there's so... I thought like, I thought we had a plan and I was so ready for the plan and now I'm a bit overwhelmed. No, this is a good plan. Like the thing needs to come down anyway. I think we'll just start. I made yeah. sure that the glass is protected. Are we gonna move the windows or are we leaving them there? Yeah, they're too heavy for you to move them. They're heavy. Yeah. But if we have them in here... Well, let's just make a decision. Why is everything so heavy? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go on the roof and start dismantling the roof. And we're gonna get as far as possible today. We already started after lunch because we were editing the whole morning. So there's not many hours left in the day. We've been debating and seeing what we should do for a good while. So yeah, I don't know how far we're gonna get today. We're just gonna start dismantling this structure. And then we have to figure out the other steps as they come. Because clearly, no matter how much you think through what you're gonna do until you're not faced with the reality of it, yeah, you cannot know if things will change or not. Okay, let's see if I manage to take some of this stuff off. Even if I sit on it, it doesn't work. I don't understand. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> what sorry? I haven't put it full out. Okay, so basically I was doing an amazing job. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get those off now then. Because that was so hard. <laughs> I couldn't! I, I tried so hard! Uh, okay, so now you know. 
Oh my god, babe, this is so much easier. I've been struggling for like half an hour. My arms, I'm like, my everything is half broken. I've been making such an effort. <laughs> you live and you learn, Ali. You live and you learn. Here, I was thinking I was a weak ass person. I don't want to just work in the, the night. But then tomorrow we start early then. I think that's a good idea. I took my gloves off. <laughs> okay. Bye. Good morning. How are we feeling? Good. I'm ready. Yeah, it's been a very wet night, but now look at the clouds. They look pretty. It's Why supposed to clear up. So. Why is it not adjusting to the clouds? What's going on? Camera. Okay, well. There you go, clouds. It's clearing up. Yeah, it's supposed to good. stay dry. And we're having a bit of a dilemma already to start the day because we're going to undo the whole structure of the old studio today. We don't know what to do with the windows. We've moved these windows so many times. Like next time we need to plan before moving them because yeah. I'm breaking my back for nothing. My back already it's really annoying <laughs> but anyway so we need to move them do we move them outside and have them out in the grass like getting wet we create a structure for them here but then they're in the way the whole time we're building i think we're, we cannot do that babe. like they're gonna be too much in the way it's just it's just what it is You can roll it up. Just roll it up. Here? Just push it, no, push it through. Just that keep on rolling. Way. Are you sure there's nothing there? Yeah, leather and hamboot. Just toss it up. Yeah. Good. Ugh. Rotten wood. I left them rotten wood. Okay, maybe it goes this way. Is that okay? Yeah. Hey. It unrolled. Okay. Ready to come down. Oh my god, it's so dirty up here and so filled with spiderwebs. We have a skylight! Imagine if I was a huge skylight.
right? Yes. I brought chocolate paste. I can finish this today, no? The yeah. De demo, at least. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Seeing how flimsy it is, your structure, of course, can withstand the winds. How so? Well, th this can. Yeah. But this was nailed proper. Oh, my lower back. Ah, uh, there is guilty pleasure. I love this. We got this in the Netherlands. Warner's mom got it for us. This so vegan, so fine, pure chocolate paste. It's from the brand Brinkers and it's really good. It's really intense. I don't like it on stuff because then it's too, like it overpowers everything. But by itself, <laughs> I'm eating so much of this every day. And I don't feel bad because it's, let's see. It has an enormous amount of sugar probably. I don't care. It has, I don't care about having sugar. Sugar cane. Uh, it's in all languages except Sp uh, English or Spanish, okay. It has oil, um, sunflower seed oil and then cocoa powder, like pure cocoa powder, which is 30%. Mm -hmm. And then some vanilla powder and some emulsifant, whatever the... Wait, it should be... That's it. Why didn't we can make this then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me to a thing I had as a kid, which was like a carob paste, nalgarroba. Mm. Um, I didn't have, a, I had a very healthy <laughs> upbringing, so I didn't have a lot of sugar and I thought Nutella was disgustingly sweet. I still don't like it. I just thought it was so gross. Um, but I did have a paste once in a while, my mom would buy it for me, of algarroba, of carob, and it tasted a lot like this, so it reminds me to my childhood. <laughs> Good. Let's make it, no? Mm. We can make it with, no, olive oil is too overpowering. Olive oil? No. Instead of sunflower oil? Mm. Mm. It's just nice to have. Yeah, have a cup of tea. And cocoa powder. Like, cocoa's good for me. The doctor told me I should have. So, doctor. Check. Doctor sent me to do this. <laughs> mm. My back. My back. My is unhappy. What's up, girl? A bird or whatever you are? It's like, that's my nest. My no, landing no. spot. No, it hasn't. this hasn't been used in, no, no. in a long time. I want it like this. This light, you mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, the, how cool of a workspace would this be if it's just amazing. like this? It would be amazing. <laughs> Another big spider. There's spiders everywhere. If someone's scared of spiders, this is the nightmare job. <laughs> Not really, it's like... Spider Someone man. is. Huh? You. I don't like them on me. I'm not scared of them. Oh. Awkward angle. If you take that plate off and we take all these screws off, then we're halfway there. The most flattering position ever. You did cool. Halfway. <laughs> oh. Now people say they love demo, but I don't know if it's. Ah, you love demo. I'm just tired. Yeah, you. <clears throat> you're getting your period, so you're low on energy. Yeah. When you love demo. I don't know. Too many screws. <laughs> mm. You're already finished. Yeah. I haven't even taken one bite. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It's gone quite fast, though.
Ja. Oh my god, baby, baby, it feels like it's gonna all shake around, like, be careful. Like, if you just sew it by, by chunks, it's not, like, it's not the whole triangle falling, because this is truly dangerous. This structure, really giving us issues, has some huge bolts, but they're all broken. We cannot unscrew them, but because it's all screwed into each other, there is nothing we can do to take out this thing, unless it is, like, pulling it all down, but then that's really dangerous for all the stuff we have and for ourselves. Have you used it? No! We made the electricity go out. We're just gonna sew it in bits now. If the electricity doesn't give us it. We're struggling to get these top beams off because they're properly bolted and the bolts are like true. Like I cannot bolt them out anymore. So we got the big guns in. The <laughs> Uh, the grinder, we got the chainsaw, and we're just gonna cut it up. In pieces! And, and I hope that it works. So far we have done one part, and now we're gonna do the other. Yeah, we've, we've proven that the concept works. <laughs> oh! So satisfying! So quick! Okay, you have it? I have it. Yes! <laughs> this is much safer than the throwing it over theory. Yeah. Sorry to say. Sorry to say. Yeah, Ali has the brains, that's clear. Yeah, well, I'm also much more safety. I have already three proper wounds, one on my arm, one on my leg, and one on my other leg. Ali has zero. No, I have one because of you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I dropped something on her head. Ah! Oh, sorry, 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 shit, 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 shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the other side, let me see how it's connected because I put quite a lot of stuff, stuff out there. Okay. <laughs> it's much heavier than, than one. Okay, wait, I need to go down. Careful, careful! <laughs> Sorry, you will find a nice. Oh, you're a big one. Yeah. Go out. Look at that big one. Thinking this today, we've maybe discovered 3,000 spiders. We're very messy people, kid. Okay? Baby, we're doing a demo in one day. Of course, we're messy. Okay. Here it's loose. Yeah, here too. Oh, it was just standing on the concrete. Yeah. That's great. It's not bolted to anything. No, but I thought it was like sunken in. Oh no. That's really nice. Okay, so now what do we do? <laughs> uh, I don't know, because I don't know how much strength you have. Careful, careful, careful. I'm scared of you. <laughs> you should be. And now we need to move the windows outside. Ooh, but the view. Let me show you the view. The view. Stunning. So pretty. Oh. Oh. 
left down. Four more to go. Oh, my back. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I think we've done a lot today. We didn't finish. We didn't finish, but maybe I'm kind of done. It was a bit, bit too ambitious, maybe. I'm really tired. My back hurts <laughs> and I'm done. It's such a mess, like, let me show you. Let me just see. There's all this wood here, all the piles over there, the windows have moved. There's shit everywhere. More shit here. I would just cover it with a tarp and go to bed and tomorrow's another day. In any case, we're gonna clean up a bit, but it's getting dark and the camera quality will get lower and lower. So we're gonna say goodnight to you here and see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Warner. Bye-bye. Good night. Let's get it going again. Good morning. Oh. Yesterday we cleaned everything up, but it was pitch dark. And when we stopped, we had dinner at 10 30 p.m. <laughs> yeah, we did. And now we're just gonna keep going for what we have done. We have to finish the last part of the wall. Then we have to take all the cement out and level the whole slab. And then we can start building the walls and see how far we go. Ready? Uh, no. I'm so I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do not tell me to exercise. <laughs> I exercise so much working. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm I'm just sore. You want to see your headphones? Yeah. No. Oh, come on, dude. No! Corner, it's gonna Excuse break me? on the thing. No. half my time talking to the thousands of bugs that we're finding between all the structures. Look at this little guy. Doesn't want to leave my hand. Look at this, it's clearly a developing something. I don't know if it's focusing because I cannot see. But I went to pick it up to show you and it's still wiggled. So it's clearly awake in there. I wonder what it is off. I'm gonna put it away on the side so it doesn't get hurt. There's so, so many bugs in this, in this former space. We were trying to squish as few as possible it's kind of hard but yeah someone mentioned to us that because we were talking about the ticks and that they're so few here compared to you last year and someone mentioned it's maybe because of your land like because you're leaving it alone there are more predators yeah like there's more biodiversity and therefore there's more balance if makes that's sense the case, it makes a lot of sense if that's the case i'm keeping it like this <laughs> no but the studio was just a whole ecosystem in itself yeah true there are like three thousand types of spiders small ones big ones i also some, saw some small footprints of whatever paw prints or whatever it's like tiny really yeah okay so yeah there's been all sorts of critters in here 
and they need to get off the boards and stuff because we are going to reuse as much as possible. Yeah. All the facades are going to become now our New cladding. Yeah. We'll have to do so much work to get them ready, <laughs> like sanding, priming them, whatever, putting protective What I cannot think, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, so it will be a lot of work, but it will save us a lot of money. Yeah. So that's why we're putting everything stacked up, but then that also allows all the critters that we're living in them to go away, hopefully, <laughs> before we get all the work. The cheapest quote we got was a couple of thousand euros for the facade alone. Yeah, that's why we're trying to find alternative. It would be much easier to buy boards and just be like, plop, 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 plop. <laughs> also, these but... boards were now horizontal, and I think we're going to position them vertical. But we're only going to do that when we see how it's going, how yeah. it looks. Great job. So now the wood is done. It looks very clear and clean, very exposed. We're now going to level the concrete base. Like there are some parts that are still not taken out because the facade was holding on to it. And then we can start building the walls. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I think you pushed it a bit yesterday, no? Uh, yesterday, yesterday was a really long day. It was a really long day. We were working for like 12 hours. Yeah. And also, um, I didn't sleep at all. I've slept tonight maybe maximum three hours. Yeah, you always seem to have that in the moments it's <laughs> required that like you the, sleep. <laughs> the more effort I do, the more exercise I do, the less I sleep. Yeah. Which everyone's like, oh, go Just outside, be outside in do, nature, like, yeah. exhaust yourself and then you'll sleep. It uh -huh. doesn't work for me. It is actually counterproductive. So I'm sleeping really badly, but last night was terrible. I woke, we went to sleep really late at like midnight and then at 2.33 I woke up and I didn't fall back asleep. So I'm struggling. <laughs> That's fine as well. You can stop whenever you want. Although but, now the fun part starts. I don't know. I think at the end, apart from doing a video with all the cost breakdown, I thought of doing a video rating every part of the experience of building <laughs> your own stuff because on a really low budget, because of course like is it worth it? I think that's a good yeah. approach. Is, is this and this worth it? And for us, it's not an option because we could not have this built externally. We couldn't afford it. We couldn't have everything custom made and brought here and just put on the, in place or demolished by builders. It just wouldn't be possible. But I think a lot of times when you see people just doing this, of course, it's all really quick and looks fun and yeah. it's put done. Put a little music on there. Yeah. Pum, 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 pum. And, and boom! new building and i think rating every part of the experience is going to be a funny exercise this is our first try as well yeah. and we're just seeing what works and what doesn't with the windows and doors that was the first part now demo works we're going to have that with the roof as well yeah and again it doesn't it doesn't mean we would have another option but then in the future if we make money we can decide what yeah. things uh, we're willing to enough? do yeah. yeah yeah for me this is the first time i ever built absolutely anything i demo anything i haven't even like been able to decorate a house like i've always stayed in in rentals. fully yeah in rentals but in fully furnished rentals like it's the first time in my life that i'm using like drills and and saws and it's really i've never done any of this and it's very surprising because i've watched a lot of people do stuff on youtube channels i think when you're watching you don't realize that being able to do it is not the same as enjoying it mm -hmm. like you know and i found it really interesting which things i find really fun and which things i absolutely despise doing oh yeah which ones sewing was great sewing was nailing great. for you is amazing taking out the nails was super f there's the roof nails yeah no well everything all the nails i find it really frustrating like yeah. they break off no i think my least favorite thing so far is more things to do with the land like digging ah like I hate know. digging <laughs> You mean in general, like yeah. the planting the trees was not a... I didn't find it fun, no. Mm. And I just always watch homesteading stuff and I was like, oh, that's my dream. I'm going to be so at peace in nature yeah, and, and happy. Is. And I'm there like, I really don't enjoy doing this. <laughs> it doesn't help that this soil is full with rocks that yeah, but you still, can't really dig through. Also taking out the, the thorn bushes. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just been an interesting experience. And I think you cannot know until you don't live it yeah. because we are all different. Like there's someone that has gone through the same thing and loved the things I hated and hated the things I love. There's no shame in disliking certain parts of the process. Like you're allowed to not enjoy a lot of things you dreamed of doing. That's just the point of trying, right? I'm learning so much about what things I'm like willing to do consistently in the future and which things I'm, I'm actually not willing to do. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think the thing I hate the most so far of building is carrying heavy shit around. Yeah, we just need to become rich because moving windows, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I just... <laughs> 
<laughs> but the, yeah, that's just because of the windows and doors. Those uh, things are it's so... It's just th super heavy things. There's no fun in it. Kudos to like moving company people. Uh, Kudos to anyone that's doing this really hard labor that is often not appreciated because it's not considered like complex or difficult. Yeah. It's horrible. Carrying the, like heavy things around sucks. <laughs> garbage men that have to like carry the the oh i hate it it's so not fun and also i don't build muscle so <laughs> you are getting stronger and stronger every day and i'm just in pain constantly <laughs> oh no my back <sighs> my back what do you like i really like things that are more like just meticulous consistency like i have to, if you tell me like oh you have to do this 25 times like nail this thing i'm like okay ding 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 cut okay here measure cut measure cut <laughs> measure cut like i don't mind that that's fun to me but anything that's de just destroying my body for the sake of destroying my body i'm so sorry <laughs> i find yeah just no anyway it's it's lots of lessons for the fir first time building mm -hmm. And I'm proud of us for at least trying. Yeah, well, it was the first time that like, we build a proper structure together, so that's good. It's the first time everything. <laughs> it's, I really, I've never, never done anything like this. I'm really curious how accurate we've been. With the measurements? Yeah, and I'm also sure how it... accurate is going to be putting it all together. Oh, I'm very, very, very curious about that. It's going to have probably a lot of like swearing and moving things around. No? <laughs> I think we're also a bit too, both of us, a bit too detail-oriented and perfectionist. So for our first time, it's not going to all align perfectly no, it's and it's going to drive us nuts. Okay, that was a bit more difficult than we thought, no? <laughs> it took us a while. You, but I think it's because we're tired or we're making a stupid mistake. But also we're amateurs. So many of the things that you can do much quicker, like these handy tips or like how to do certain things. We don't, we don't know, know. Them. Like most of the things we know through YouTube, but I cannot watch 6,000 YouTube videos to figure out what is the best way. So it's just a matter of doing it and then learning on the go. You also don't see those things in a YouTube video. No, it's true. You have to really work with a craftsman or some, someone that has experience that tells you. But we don't have that person here. So. I wish we had friends, handy friends. That would be willing to come all the way here and then... And help us. We need to make friends. <laughs> oh, let's have some tea. Some chocolate paste. It's been a lot of tedious work, but look how clean the slab looks. Wait, I'll turn you around. I'm so proud. Oh, perfect. Yay, a clean slate. Can't believe it. So normally concrete slabs have a vapor barrier underneath the slab. It prevents the moisture from coming up through the slab because the slab basically functions like a sponge when it doesn't. And this one doesn't. So now that we have taken everything out, we still need to do a lot to prevent the water from coming up. It will always come up, uh, but we're gonna try to limit it as much as possible. First thing we do is uh, paint the whole perimeter uh, with a water sealant. This is to prevent the water from coming in on the sides because yeah, when the wind is on the facade and on the perimeter, it will just get a lot of water from those angles. So that is already taken off. And hopefully we can at least do one perimeter round today. We have to do three to make it properly thick. This slab is not the best slab I've ever seen. I hope it will be good, but we're just gonna deal with what we have and figure it out on the go. It's not easy to spread because it's so thick I, and it has so many holes. It's gonna take a while. I imagined myself like, la la la, but no. <laughs> the time has come for us to do attempt number two at building the walls by sections and then lifting them up. We're gonna try to do a couple tonight before it gets too late. But the sun is out and it's so beautiful. This morning it was very foggy, but now let me show you.
We're trying really hard, but we're facing a lot of hurdles. In my head, it was all set up, but... <laughs> the building, the walls, we thought would go a bit smoother. <laughs> There's an angle that we just are not capable of cutting no. with the stuff we have, with the machinery we have. No, and that's my fault. When I was like drawing it out, I was like, mm, is this going to be possible? But then I was like, ah, it's going to be fine. We'll figure it out. Like, it looks beautiful in the drawings. It's a 75 degree angle. <laughs> it's too complicated. Pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. So I think we're going to just change some things around and then make it work in another way. Call it a day. Cause Call it the day because it's 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. Yeah, we need to eat and still clean up, and then we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. We did a lot. I don't know if this video was entertaining, because it was just us working, not really saying much, but... No, it's just because we were trying to... Go finish this as quickly as possible. Yeah, it starts to rain soon again, and we need to get things up. Also because everything is exposed at the moment, so... Yeah. I'm gonna change some things around, I think, in the drawings to okay. make it a bit better, a bit easier. Just make it for like beginner, beginner level yeah. <laughs> woodworking, please. <laughs> we don't have, I looked up how to cut a 75 degree angle <laughs> with a table saw and it's like, that is a, a an angle for advanced woodworking. I was like, great. <laughs> That's not us, clearly. We are not advanced woodworkers. <laughs> okay. We'll figure it out. See you Let's week. start cleaning up. Ciao. See you next week. Oh. oh.